it's time to dish with d that's me thank you for clicking on this video making yourself a priority it is sunday and sunday is meal prep what are you prepping this week oh i'm super excited i am prepping pumpkin stuff yeah because i waited long enough we are going to be doing first pumpkin protein balls <laughs> i'm a little excited and then we're going to be doing pumpkin rice pudding in the mini dash rice cooker because I saw on their website they're making rice pudding. I'm like, duh, duh. So we're gonna we're gonna do pumpkin rice pudding. And for the third thing, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that yet. So we're gonna hold off because I filmed this during the week. So who knows what I'm gonna do? But hopefully there'll be a third. So let's go and get started on some balls because you know I love my balls. So let's go make some. Okay, we have a nice large bowl well medium to large bowl it depends on how many balls you want to make i mean you could probably double this recipe if you want to double your balls that's totally up to you but again i'm winging this so i'm i'm really not quite sure of measurements so i always say go to dishwitty.com and that'll have everything written for you there you don't have to think and try and follow me because heck i can't follow me so i can't expect anybody else to be able to follow me so all right we're going to start with our wet ingredients and that is, I'm using chickpeas. Now this is chickpeas that I got out of a can, rinsed and put them in a food processor. And you process them, I try doing them as smooth as I can. I did add a tablespoon of water so they would, it would help them along. Can you skip this step? You could use peanut butter in place of this if, if chickpeas are not your thing or you just don't like them or you're allergic to them. You absolutely could use a nut butter. Any nut butter would work. I'm choosing opting out of a nut butter because I don't want any nut butter taste. But some nut butters, maybe they wouldn't have a taste. I mean, I just feel like I don't I don't want to taste peanut butter at all or nut butter. So I'm figuring chickpeas are pretty bland. So here I should have a half a cup. I'm going to just remeasure it because like I said, it was a half a cup of, yeah, see, it's a half a cup. Just making sure. And we're going to have an equal half cup of some pureed pumpkin. Yes, you see I have a very large can, so we're never going to be doing other recipes with pumpkin. But yep, so we'll do a half cup of pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie, pumpkin puree. So that's why I said, I don't know how much I'm going to use because they may be too wet and we don't want them, you know, to be too wet. Let's get these all mixed so they mix well. This is going to be going to hopefully bind our balls. Now I can add syrups, but I'm, right now I'm, we're going to see if we need them. Okay, we have all of our pumpkin and our chickpeas well combined. I didn't take an account for sweetener, but I'm thinking I want sweet balls. So I'm going to go grab some brown sugar substitutes. I really think that's what it's going to be. And we're going to do a quarter of a cup right now. Like I said, I may increase that once I taste them. I don't think what else is in here is going to be sweet. Probably nothing. Maybe I should do a half cup. We'll do a quarter cup. We don't want them to be too sweet. We'll see. I don't want to. I don't know how they're going to be. I've never made these before, so we are winging this. Let's do some pumpkin pie spice because these are pumpkin balls. Do a whole teaspoon pumpkin pie spice. dash of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of salt maybe half a teaspoon because I'm thinking we're gonna need some these are really flat so we'll do a half a teaspoon I think some flax meal. Now I grind my own flax seeds that I get at Nutstop to make flax meal. 
One, two. Okay. And chia seeds. We're doing two tablespoons of the lovely, good for you chia seeds. And I love the texture that the chia seeds gives. So we'll do two tablespoons of those. Again, nutstop.com. You know, I love my nutstop. All right, so we have our chickpeas. We have our flax. We have our chia. We, okay, we're gonna do almonds. I have a half a cup of quick oats. Not our almonds, our oats first. Half a cup. And now we're gonna add our almonds, which I have down here as a quarter of a cup. Pretty similar to the last recipe. Only thing, I took out the nut butter and I took out, um, oh, the nut butter, that's where I took out the nut butter. Okay, quarter cup, rice is my quarter cup. That's my third cup. I am missing my quarter cup. There we are. This is a low budget production. I need a cooking assistant. Put a cup of nuts and a serving of protein powder. I am using the Devotion sweet potato. I don't believe they make this anymore, but I thought it would go really good with this. I would have used vanilla if I had it. So one serving of that. And I think that's everything. Let me double check. Chickpeas, flax, oats. Cheers, almonds, protein powder, pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice. Okay, that's it. We'll see if we need to add anything else. I don't know how thick this is going to be. Because like I said, I can put a little bit of the skinny syrups in here. I could put some of the sucrin syrups to help me make it a little bit more sticky. But I need to know if I need sweetener too. Because you don't want your balls to be too flat. Nothing worse than flat balls. <laughs> These are a snack, and you want them to be tasty, you know? This looks like it might just be good. I don't know if I have to add anything else. As long as I could get them mixed a little bit. This is a spurtle that I got on QVC. It's great. I was thinking about maybe adding another scoop of protein powder if I wanted to add something else because I feel like more protein in a ball is not a bad thing. Let's see, because I do feel a little bit wet. And this protein powder is pretty low in points, so I actually could afford to put more of that in. Let me just taste it for sweetness. Mmm, that's pretty good. Okay. Then we'll do a half a scoop of protein powder. I will definitely have it all reflected in my website. And another quarter cup of oats. So instead of half a cup, it'll be three quarters of a cup. I can just find my quarter cup will be in business. Because, like I said, the pumpkin was wet, the chickpeas were wet, so I definitely need, and this will actually make more balls as well. So you're increasing, yes, the points, but you're also increasing the balls. Definitely much better. These are great, like I said, these are a great little snack, little ball, pop a ball in your mouth and you got a little bit of a hunger pang. This little pop of protein, pop of nice whole grains, chia seeds, flax seeds, I mean almonds. It's really quite a nice little treat. And I do want to add a little bit more of the sweetener just because I feel like, give me another tablespoon. So it was quarter 
plus a tablespoon. I will definitely reflect that the recipe. And what we do is we grab a spoon and we just take kind of like a heaping teaspoon and you just roll it. And there you have your ball. And you put them in the, I keep them in the fridge and they will stiffen up once they've um, gotten cold. And cause you've seen them before. So this is our little protein ball. Let's see how many I can get out of this batch, shall we? All right, I kept the balls in the fridge for a while. They're a little stickier than I would like, but I don't want to put any more ingredients in there. If you think they're, I don't, I mean, they're not sticking to my fingers, but I feel like they're tacky, which is fine for a ball. <sighs> Say that with a straight face. Um, if you want to roll them, maybe in anything else, like maybe seeds or nuts or oats, that's up to you. But this is what they look like. They're orange. They're pumpkin. They smell amazing. Now you don't have to use the devotion that I use, but I had it, so I figured I'd use it. But um, I don't even think they make that devotion um, sweet potato. I really liked it. I thought it was really great with pumpkin and stuff. But shut up, Denise, and taste that ball. Eat that ball, D! Thank you. They smell divine. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a piece of pumpkin pie with seeds. <laughs> um, the chia seeds make it crunchy. The almonds make it crunchy. But I'm okay with that. So I think they are a win. We'll finish that ball. Oh, I think <laughs> I got 25 balls. <laughs> I believe they are one, two for one point, I believe. On my points, personal points. But I don't have Osa's zero point food. But everything I said will be linked in dishwithy.com with the WW app link there for you as well. So I'm going to finish my ball now. Hate to interrupt this fabulous food for a fun unboxing, but it is the time of the, of the, of the month for my panty unboxing. We're scary here on Dish with D, aren't we? Heaven Panty reached out to me a while back and said, can, could I showcase their panties here on my channel? They have a monthly subscription service that costs you, I believe it's $10 a month, and the value of your underwear is $15. Now, what is included with your $10 purchase? You get your pair of underwear. You also have a store credit back to you for $10. You can go in their store and shop with your $10 credit. A personal styling fee is included, which is valued at $10. The shipping is included, which is valued at $6. So you basically have a $40 value just for paying $10. And there is, I believe, your first panties. I believe your first month is free, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that one because I don't remember that one, but I think it might be. So that is the plan that they have out now. $10 it costs you. It's just a $40 value. So let's see. Obviously, I'm getting a red pill this month. You fill out a panty profile, what you like, what you don't like, materials, style, and then they each month will send you a pair based on that. <laughs> These are cute. Oh my gosh. These are like Valentine's Day underwear. I'm telling you. These are, these give Victoria's Secret a run for their money. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I might think I caught in here. A little clip. Hold on. Because it's lacy. You ready for this one? Look at those gorgeous things. Look at the back. It's all lace. Let's open it up. <gasps> look at that. All right, look at the little cutout. Those almost look like a heart. It is a heart, actually. <gasps> I mean... Stunning. You're not going to touch these at Victoria's Secret for 10 bucks. You're just not. And it always comes with the tag. The tag has everything and the price on there. So, yep. Let's see what the tag says. $15, like I said. But look at that. Oh, I, I missed the best part. Oh, my gosh. Look at the bow detail and the little rhinestones that are hanging. 
what do you want for Christmas? Ho, ho, ho. I mean, great for Christmas, great for Valentine's Day, great for a naughty night out. I mean, come on. And here's the thing, nobody needs to see your underwear. So you can feel as sexy as hell and nobody needs to know about it because it's your personal thing. But look at that. So yeah, these are absolutely, the detail, the scalloped edges are just absolutely stunning. So thank you, Heaven Panty. These are absolutely beautiful. Like I said, look at that detail. All right, I found a use for some pumpkin. <laughs> so I have a huge can. We're gonna make a pumpkin cream of wheat loaf. I've made a regular, I've made a chocolate. Don't know if I've ever made a pumpkin. And I get asked all the time how versatile the cream of wheat loaf is. And I really think it is, so we're gonna show you right here. So instead of a banana, I'm going to add a third cup of pure pumpkin to my bowl. And to that, I'm going to put in some sugar substitute. I use the Truvia Sweet Complete from your local store. Two tablespoons. And an egg. Let's get that all combined. Your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And I just use my little toaster oven because it fits perfectly in there. And the newer toaster ovens are a lot nicer than the older toaster ovens used to be. Okay, I'm gonna put some extract. I'm using maple because I like maple and pumpkin. You could use vanilla, you could use whatever your little heart desires. And I hear there's pumpkin extract out there, but I'm going for maple because that's just me, that's all. And we got some pumpkin pie spice, because you know, it's not all about pumpkin, you gotta have the spice in there. So I'm gonna do about half a teaspoon because this is not the biggest loaf. So about half a teaspoon of pumpkin. You could, if you don't have pumpkin pie spice, which most people do, but you also could just use cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. Google it, you could find it. A little dash of cinnamon because I happen to have it out. That's all. That's all she wrote. All right, quarter teaspoon of salt because, oh yeah, baked goods need salt. Want to taste good, right, after all this? Baking powder because we want our loaf to have some rising, right? So we'll put about almost a teaspoon. You could say a teaspoon, but it's not quite a teaspoon. I'm gonna get all of that combined. Like I said, you could use, I've made this with banana. You could use applesauce in place of the banana. It's, you know, it's whatever you have on hand. But we're gonna, since it's tis the season for pumpkin, we're gonna do a pumpkin and I have this whole can to use up. We're gonna be doing some pumpkin overnight oats this week, so I'm totally sure it will get used up. All right. Now, I will tell you, you could do this with three tablespoons. The recipe calls for four, but I have done it with three and it has worked. I'm gonna mix three and I'm gonna see how it comes together. Push a shave off a point, I think, which is only using three. But you know what, I honestly, everything else is zero for me. I just might add that extra tablespoon. It makes it a little bit denser. I'm gonna go for the fourth. That's just me. But I think, no, but the pumpkin maybe, maybe a little bit more, you know, there's maybe a little bit more water in pumpkin than it is in banana. So I just like the way it looks with four. But I get asked that all the time, can I use three? And I've tried it and you can. You also could use like egg whites instead of um, eggs. It would work as well too, if you had to be an egg white person. There you go, done. We'll grab our prepared pan. Actually, my pan is not prepared, so I have to go grab it. <laughs> Using my cute little Dollar Tree mini loaf pan. You know, it's my favorite. So what I usually do is I always have the butter flavored spray. 
and I just spray it out. This is for it just doesn't stick. I do find you get a better bake on these than you do the metal. It's just, I think it's because it's stoneware. But see how thick this is? You probably could have gotten away with three, but you know what? I'm all about four here. So you could put Lily's chocolate chips on this. You could put some pumpkin seeds. We may throw a little bit of pumpkin seeds on top just because it's pumpkin, right? I'm going to throw some lilies too because remember, you can use a zero point amount and it's really quite enough. You could use this as a breakfast, you could use this half as a snack. I say that all the time to people. Half of this can be a snack. You could split it with your husband with coffee and tea. So it's a great, great little loaf. Let me grab my pumpkin seeds and my lilies because they're always around when I need them. All right, you know, a tablespoon of pepitas are zero, so we're not going to use that much. We're just going to put a few on here. Just maybe a tablespoon's worth. Teaspoon, I'm sorry, teaspoon's worth, that's all. Just for, just for decor, this will make it look pretty. And I use the brown bag of lilies, so we know the brown bag. 13 or zero, so I put 13. One more makes 13. Just push them in a bit. Sometimes I like to mix them in because you get like a little, little surprise. So there you have it. Mm, tastes delicious. So I'm going to pop this in my oven. It'll probably cook for about 25 minutes. Everything is on dishwithd.com. The written recipes for everything that I make here on meal prep. So let's put this cute little baby in the oven and cook her up. All right. Can we say that? I was watching my What I Eat Today, and I kept saying, all right, all right, all right. Oh, my goodness. I apologize for saying all right all the time. Apparently, it must be something I say. Well, here is my pumpkin cream of wheat loaf. I have so long. That's a lot to say. Just out of the oven. She baked for 22 minutes. I'm going to let her... I let it cool in here a few minutes, and then I put a knife around the sides, and then I flip her over and she always comes out. But look how good that looks. Yep, four points for my personal points for this. I only have to count in my plan the cream of wheat. And like I said, you probably could go down to three tablespoons. I don't think it makes that big of a difference. But honestly, for breakfast, four points is not a stretch for me. And I'd rather feel full a little bit longer for one point. So, all right. There's another little quick pumpkin recipe checked off the list. Hey, Bale. I wanted to show everybody Bailey got a haircut. If you look at the camera, there he is. Hey, want some bones? Go Popeyes. Go Popeyes. Well, that's about as good as you're going to get. He's just not feeling himself right now. He's, every comes time he goes there and gets his haircut, you know, they come home a little bit stressed. But he looks really fetching and he has a cute little monster's bandana for Halloween. So, well, we were supposed to have pumpkin rice pudding. Well, I was going to upload it anyway, uh, but I didn't like it the way it came out. I did it twice. Yeah, I kind of want to share something that doesn't work. It's kind of like, I don't know, it just didn't cook. And I'm not sure why. Is it the different not having wood or having milk in there? I'm not sure why. But we're not, we're going to just, we just ditched the video footage. And we'll revisit it again in a few weeks probably not next week i don't know if i'm gonna have a video next week or not because we're gonna be away depends on how much i get done this week but you have two good pumpkin recipes so that's good so again i apologize it's like i said i could have put it in here and i keep thinking about it but it didn't work so what's the point of putting something that doesn't work maybe i should have went on the dash website and read what they did who knew but that's it i hope you enjoy these two pumpkin recipes they are really good they're up on dishwithd.com excuse me for all the written recipes and the ww link for both of them so go check it out link is down below have a great day thank you for watching these paloozas that palooza is the pumpkin it maybe i think i was gonna call pumpkin palooza but there's no palooza in this video so this is just a pumpkin duo 
So thanks for watching the pumpkin duo. And again, thanks to Heaven Panties for sending me panties for review. They're always, it's a fun subscription. It is a fun subscription. But have a great rest of your day. If you enjoy this video, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at Dish with D. Hit that subscribe button. Join our community here on YouTube. We also have a fantastic Facebook group that is waiting there for you to join. It just doesn't cost you anything to subscribe or join our Facebook group. You have to be willing. That's all. Everything is linked down below. If you ever have a question, you know where you can find me. Dish with D at yahoo.com. I will answer any questions that you have or you can leave me a comment below as well i love that that's always fantastic youtube loves when you leave me comments helps out my channel so have a great rest of your day enjoy these pumpkins and we'll dish another day